Hi everyone, it's Justice and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be flipping through two Traveler's Company inserts, the first of which is the January through June, or I really think it goes like a little bit of December through June, six month weekly insert, and the second of which is going to be just a standard blank, I think it's a 003 insert. And here we're going through the weekly insert, and at the very beginning I was incredibly excited about using it. I was using my Tombow dual brush pens to add some color and add some accents. I'm doing brush lettering. I'm very intentionally picking my ink colors so that the pages go together and flow very well. Decorating with some washi tapes and stamps and stickers and I'm just having a really good time with it. On the left side, I'm doing my to-do list and little notes. On the right side, I'm doing what I ate. And every so often, I'll kind of write down a snippet about my day or a little paragraph. And that's kind of what I did for a little bit. And what I was finding is that this format is too restrictive for me. I figured I would try this out because the Hobonichi Weeks is really intriguing to me but I don't think that's going to work out. I found that a lot of what I wrote down on each day, like to-dos, they get migrated and migrated and migrated until my day off where I just get everything done. And I already knew that about myself. I know that I don't like to do tons of chores after I get home from work, but I tried it anyways. And I have this thing in my head to where I don't like if the pages, or the single page rather, is inconsistent, and so I don't like lots of blank space and then super filled space for two days. That just bothers me, and I also don't think that I enjoy, like, on days that I'm working, I just write about my day, whereas on days that I'm getting stuff done, it's my big to-do list. That also doesn't rub me the right way, and so I started losing my inspiration around April, May, but that also coincides with a life change because I had a career switch at that point. So my life was really topsy-turvy toopsy here. And you, you can see that. It's definitely reflected and I'm just trying to find something that works for me, something that makes me feel grounded. And what I ended up finding was that I like using these inserts more for like a five-year journal type deal not for five years on each little thing, but for just writing things down. And so that's what I did throughout the remainder of this. On the left side, I'm just writing down a little bit about my day. On the right side, I'm just tracking the amount of hours I worked because I am hourly. And that's kind of what I did. I lost a lot of inspiration. The pages look a lot less fun. My ink colors don't really have much variation. But that's what I did, and that's what worked. And I'm not sure how I'm going to use the July through December insert. <laughs> I guess we'll just see. And here we come to the 003 blank insert from Traveler's Company again. And it starts off with some notes from my rider safety course. I did get my motorcycle license in April, and so I wanted to take it seriously as seriously as I can when I doodle on the page, and do keep in mind, I took that very seriously, I do take rider safety very seriously, it really is life and death because you don't have a giant car to protect you, so I just wanted to add that little disclaimer there because I realized that my wording could have been weird and taken very incorrectly, but moving forward, this is where I kind of found my love again. So this is where I found my creativity. I'm using Crayola markers, I'm tipping in everything, doing different types of writing, doodling, sketching. I'm just having a good time. And something I actually sought out for with this insert was to doodle every, every single page spread. And that didn't really work out, but I've got some really nice sketches out of it and I'm very proud of myself. I love drawing ladies and I love drawing um, stationary objects because that just takes me back to art school and it's just like super basic. But I'm collaging, I'm collaging packaging, um, 
just everything. I'm trying out different ways to format, putting little arrows everywhere, inserting little Polaroid pictures, using stamps, tip in, tip in, tip in. And I had so much fun the month of May in this insert because if you saw my last flip through, that journal insert lasted me so many months. This one I am a little bit disappointed that it did last so long, but part of that is because once I get to June, I get very restrictive in how I allow myself to journal. If I had not done that, this would likely be done in one month. And there's a lot of arguments with that. Part of me thinks that I should stretch out the journal as much as I can because they're pricey. But then part of me also really wants to just enjoy things. Because for like, it depends on where you buy it, but I say on average for like five to seven pops an insert, I may as well have fun. There's no need to be super saving about it as long as I'm having fun. And June was not fun. I, um, well, you can see it right here. I made myself do four days per page spread, and that was very limiting in what I was able to do. And so I did not do much. There's some days where I just wrote down what I eat, not even in a fun way. And that's it. The end. Have fun. So I kind of died a little bit inside in June, but we're moving forward. Fun fact, these little pictures are from an Airbnb magazine and were taped in way before June happened. They were in my like May fun phase, but I just couldn't pass them up. Also, Billie Eilish is taking over the world and I'm very convinced. But that's, that's really the end. We're getting towards the end of it, and it's just a few little notes here and there, like the end of my journals usually are. And I appreciate you watching this with me. Have a great one.